Miles, two furlongs, the trip, the betting. Tyne and Tyne again, two to one, spended threes. Kerry lads, four to one. It is six to one and bigger the rest of them. A uh, good fist of it early, he's doing just that. And spended up on the outside, who's uh, certainly contributed to his pension. He's won 13 races and plenty of prize money, sharing the work. Chardanti sits in a share of third with Native Buck and on the inside, Kerry lads. In this stage, uh, they take the first time and time again is the back marker with Tindarius. So they jump one of the 19 they have to take. And down the hill on the far side, up and over Rose Hill. A bit of a stride on before they come towards fence number two, which is a plain one, then an open ditch. And it's going to be suspended with Bramber Hill Duke. We make the running here. Bramble Duke runs a rail, spend at the outside. The pale pink of Chardanti can front run. He's back in third as they continue towards fence number two. And at the back of the pack is the favourite. Tiny, tiny again. Awkward there, wasn't he? And uh, Graham Lee very nearly went in a orbit, but uh, with 38 winners this season, he's keen to make it more. And of course, Graham associated with uh, those good horses. Crane by Howard Johnson, the Graham Wiley jacket. But right for Norman Mason today on time and time again, those red colours at the back of the pack. <laughs> Down towards fence number four there. And it's the cross fence, and it's Bramble Hill Duke who pops it in the lead. A little bit erratic there was uh, Native Buck in those bright red and yellow colours. And uh, Carrie Lands, who ran a personal best in the Scottish National last year, on the inside of the maroon. So they come to the top of the home run in thankfully very clear weather, and this time last year it was a very murky, miserable day. Very foggy indeed, and took some time to spot spend it. But there he is clearly between horses. With Bramble Hill Duke on his inside, running the red in those black colours. Brian Crowley very much uh, in luck today, already with two winners. Spended in second place, Jimmy McCarthy. Doesn't he jump well, the old boy? And then up on the outer in the pale pink colours, of the Bethel family, that's uh, on the extreme left there, Chardin. The maroon colours of Kerry lads, and then Tindarius getting close to Native Buck and Tyne and Tyne again. Fence number seven, spended with the advantage here. Good place to be with one or two iffy jumpers uh, in the race, spended out in front. Could be a, run a, have a really good day here for Alan King. And it looks as if Native Buck has been pulled up, he has been pulled up. There's something uh, radically wrong there. Bended on the outside of Bramble Hill Duke. Oh, and uh, Perry Lads was a little bit awkward there. Tindarius getting a bit closer. Tyne and Tyne again has never got into this at all and is um, very remote. Look at the bottom right of your picture there. There he goes. Graham Lee having to work on this one. Never getting into this race at all. So they're continuing the sweep towards the point which is just over three quarters of a mile from home. That's the cross fence and spend it still with the edge. Chardanti up on the outside for the Sue Smith Yard. Took the previous race here with uh, Meldrum Star in a tough finish for spend it leads. To Chardanti up on the outside. Kerry Lads and Tindarius getting closer now. It looks as if Bramble Hill Duke has cracked and again at the back of the pack. This time and time again, not a happy chaser. So we're down to four with effective chances here. They are last year's winner, Spended, on the outside. Chardanti goes like a good one on the outer. And there, Kerry Lads made a mistake. Bramble Hill Duke at the top of the uh, picture there might very well be pulled up. Tindarius is getting into this. So, and it looks as if Tyne and Tyne again has been pulled up. So they come down towards the fifth from home. That was Spended with the edge. Looks as if Kerry Lads is uh, moving out of this race quite quickly. Spended, though, the top weight with the edge to Chardanti, who's being ridden along. And Tindarius, one of the season's improvers, despite the age of 12, and uh, he's in with chances as they come to the top of the home run. This is four out, and this is Spended with the lead. Doesn't he jump well? To Chardanti, who's coming back for more. A big weight difference here, nearly two stone. And Tindarius is coming into this. Three with chances, three to jump. And Spended with a length lead. To Chardanti and Tindarius, three out. And Chardanti is putting it to Spended, who won the race last year. Chardanti is staying on very well. Tindarius tries to raise his game. Still got two to jump. Still a quarter of a mile to go. Spended with the edge, though. The class performer. Here we are, two out. 
right. He goes through the top of it. He's getting a bit weary. A big weight advantage. Pink cap on the inside. Tindarius tries to rally now. They've got one to jump and two with realistic chances. They are Splendid and Tindarius. They're racing down towards a final fence. How do they jump? It's Splendid, Tindarius. Tindarius the better to Splendid, who won the race last year. Booked for second, surely now, as Tindarius strides up to the line with a three, four, five length lead. And Tindarius, the 12 year old, wins his ninth race. And Paddy Aspel, his 15th winner of the season. Splendid comes home in second, and Chardanti in third. And they're the only three to finish. The winner then is number eight, Tindarius. Slightly weighted, framed by James Hellerton, and those black and pink, pink colours. 3.20 at Doncaster. Tindarius is the winner at 16 to 1 by five lengths from Spended at 3 to 1. Chardanti was third at 6 to 1. Tyne and Tyne again, a disappointing 9 to 4 favourite, was pulled up.